Since she was young, photography has been senior Caitlin Tabor's passion. Starting from a small Canon camera to a new camera and newly learned editing skills, she's well on her way to a su successful career. I started photography when I was very young. Um, my first camera was like a little Canon, like just this big. I just always had a passion for photography. It was for my own passion and other people want them done too, like family and seniors and weddings, you name it. I started my business probably last year around this time, but it was very slow. It was like a building process, and it's just now starting to come into place. I consider myself professional because professional means you charge for what you do, but I still have a lot of learning to do. Even though she's doing what she loves, there's a lot of work that has been put into every picture. Caitlin strives to do her best and creates good quality of photography. It can get very hectic sometimes because um, I'm a one-man army, basically. I'm all on my own. I do all the editing, all the photos, planning, location finding. There's a whole bunch to do, and the workload can get very powerful and a lot. It can go between anywhere like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. It depends on the weather, um, how much sun is out, mm -hmm. how the people cooperate with me, if there's children involved, if they're going to listen to me, you know, just the basics. Sometimes it can be busy. It starts out with um, you show up to the location and you just start taking photos and you move around as you go, change outfits here and there, and then afterwards I go home, I go through the photos, figure out which ones I like the best. Like that can be anything that's blurry in some way. If it doesn't make my standards, I cut it out and go home and edit and I usually have the photos done two or three days. Here's like a general idea of what a photo can start out with. It can be dark, underexposed, there's a lot of different color going on here that shouldn't be there, and here's a menu that you can use, and then there's other things to fix that, and I will show you a before and after photo. This is usually the final product. What else I did was brighten it up a little bit more, brighten the eyes and the tongue, and added my watermark, so that way people can't steal the photo and pass it off as their own. And then I save it to my computer, and then you can post it from me. I have, my camera is a Canon Rebel T5, and I have like tripods and different lenses and stuff. Um, my favorite lens would probably be my 50 millimeter, and the f-stop is 1.4, which makes the background very blurry. But that's about all I use. My, um, my prime lens is my, my best friend. Okay. I expect it to grow a lot more um, in the future, because I'm going to get my license so that way I can go to um, clients. and. I'm going to invest in more equipment and lenses and stuff to bring with me. I think five years from now I will be a lot more successful and I will have more clients than ever. Way before now. <laughs> I recommend, if it's possible, have more than one person because it can get very overwhelming. But um, stick to your passion. Don't let your dreams get out of the way and make those dreams come true. So in this past year, her business has flourished and she's starting to take off. She still has some wanting to do and is dealing with all the stress that comes with having a business as a team. Despite that, she is happy to see where her photography takes her.